It's Saturday morning in the OK Turbo shop, and what I thought I would do now, everything that needed to cure has been cured, has cured, and I've kind of lightly sanded these couplers and, and where they, they go into the body tube so everything fits really well. So I thought I'd just kind of put it together, and now that it's all kind of done, I still need to sand on the, the fence. It is a little scritchy there, so I'll give those a light sanding before I start primering anything. I may even let those cure for a few more days, just to make sure they're good. I'm gonna put this thing together and kind of show you how it goes. I can do this. It's a little cumbersome. You just have to kind of get used to it because it doesn't come apart. So there's not like a quick link that I can just take apart all of this. So you got, the shock cord, I mean, the uh, shock cord protector, and probably when I fly it, I'll probably even, you know, put the motor in, I'll put a little bit of a dog, dog bark in there, because when you know, use the motor as a uh, backup to the uh, apogee event that happens from the altimeter. So this is a 15 inch drogue chute. That's what uh, Scott recommended in the instructions. So, so flight prep would be gather up all of this, Make your little burrito here. That wraps up pretty tight. This will go in, some dog bark that'll go in, just like that. Then what we end up here is, this is the electronics bay. <clears throat> so I've got that um, well nut there. So I would prepare the charge uh, insert it through here, the wires would come through, have my altimeter here, terminate on the altimeter, um, slide this in. Um, I'm gonna have to make a hole here. I've got one of these, this is the first time I've used the little finger tech screw switches. And they seem, you know, you look at a picture on the internet, they seem a lot bigger than that. That's a tiny little thing. So this will get mounted probably inside of this so that when I slide this in there'll be a hole here and I'll have to get everything lined up but then you know somehow from this switch go through to the battery and terminate that all somehow um, I've got a bunch of uh, little uh, JST connectors and things like that that I can use I get those through doghouse rocketry um, so basically, this is how the, the altimeter goes inside. You'll also have to uh, get your main ejection charge, feed the wires through here, well nut, same kind of thing, bring the wires through, terminate on the, uh, on the uh, altimeter. And then this piece will go in, and then I'm going to have this, uh, four plastic rivets that hold that piece together. Then this is your upper body tube. This goes in. Of course, I haven't just kind of make things easier as I'm sanding. There's no need to fill this in, but there'll be the other shock cord that comes out of here. Goes all the way through this tube. And then actually attaches to the nose cone. So this will be riveted on each side of this. So this will be together. Then put your main parachute I'm, I'm going to size the main parachute after everything's together and I've weighed it just to make sure it's the right size. Um, so that's how that all goes together. And get all this in here. So that's it. So the, uh, the drogue event, pop, out comes the drogue. And as it falls, um, the altimeter will fire this charge at, you know, say 500, 600 feet then pop this will have the main chute in it so that's the plan I have a hole in here somewhere to make sure that i put it opposite of the uh of the uh rail buttons so that when it's on the rail i can get to the altimeter but um these little finger tech screw switches I have a little i think it's five thirty second inch allen ball head driver here so i'll just be able to beat turn on the altimeter and it should be ready to go. So 
really construction is pretty much done. I'm waiting for uh, the Aeropack uh, retainer to come in. I ordered that from uh, Chris at CS Rocketry. What else did I get from him? I ordered like another small batch of uh, E matches. I was thinking there was something else on the order, but I can't remember. So then, then when we get everything together, all painted and uh, and put the decals on the the, wrap, the wraps and get it all looking nice and pretty, uh, we'll weigh it, and we you know, then from that weight we can pick out the the motors, the delays, and even the the parachute. You know, shoot for 15 feet per second, something like that. Maybe a little a little bit faster, but if you have the main fire off like 500 feet, it, it doesn't really matter if it's floating too slow. We've got a really nice field in Tulsa, so so that's it.